April 9, 1959. NASA introduces its first class of astronauts. All seven begin a crash course in space travel. Once we were selected, it was sort of open-ended as to what kind of things people could think up for us to do that might have some weird remote application to space flight. Wally Shira endures a heat chamber. Gus Grissom tries to fly blindfolded. And John Glenn becomes a human test dummy for G-forces. Astronauts call this centrifuge the beast. You're straining just as hard as you possibly can strain to keep enough blood up in your head to keep from blacking out. They spin so violently that their hearts bang into their lungs, knocking the wind out of them. They test for every condition they can imagine in spaceflight. But what about weightlessness? The Air Force devises a way to simulate zero gravity. The Mercury 7 are again the guinea pigs. A C-131 transport ascends to 40,000 feet. Inside are the future astronauts and one nervous reporter with a tape recorder. My hand is shaking. I don't know if my voice sounds funny or not. Then the plane tops out like a roller coaster and the men begin to float. We are now weightless. <laughs> we are now weightless. Good Lord, what an interesting feeling this is. Doctors have no idea if humans can survive long in weightlessness. Will their organs function? Will food stay down if there's no up or down anymore? They call this the Vomit Comet. And it's the only way to test the possibilities and problems of zero gravity. The Air Force even tries it on animals. They appear far less enthusiastic. 